Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to discuss about Perpetual Inventory System 5 fold method. 5 fold method means the older goods purchased in are the first to be sold or out. So David Company Limited had prepared an inventory record for the month of July 2020 as follows. Well. So this is the transaction for David Company Limited. There are five transactions in July 2020 and we are required to prepare the perpetual system using FIFO method. So when you want to prepare the perpetual system using FIFO method, this is the table. The first one, the date. This is the column for purchase and for cost of goods sold and the balance or the inventory. So the first one, the company had the inventory balance 100 unit at 10 per unit. So we have to record in the balance 100 unit with the cost price 10 and we have the cost 1000 ringgit. The 10th of July, purchase 80 with the price 11 per unit. So we have to record 80 units with the cost RM11 and the total is 880. So what you have to do is from the above, we just carry forward here 100 units time 10, got 1000 and the second item 80, you just carry forward in the balance times 11 and you got 880. So we have the two items for this period. For 18 July, we have to record in order. So 18 July sales 90 units. So when you want to sell the inventory 90 units, we have to record in the COGS column. So based on 5 4 method, the oldest goods purchased are the first to be sold. We have to take the oldest item. The oldest item or the oldest unit, we just take from 100, we just take only 90 units. So, this is the oldest item. N times 10, you get 900. So, the rest, we have to carry down the balance or the remaining, the remaining for the oldest unit only 10 from the oldest is 100. Now we have sold 90 units. So we have the remaining 10 units. And for the second unit, you just carry down 80. So this is the balance in the store. The balance of the inventory. 10 times 10 got 100. 80 times 10, 11, you got 880. The next transaction, purchase. The company purchased 70 units with the cost 12 per unit. So 70 units times RM12, you got the cost 840. So we have the balance in the store 10 from previous day. 80, we just carry down 10. And then the second item, 80. And the third item, 70. So we have three batch of the inventory. This is the oldest one and this is the recent price. The next transaction, 27 July, sales 50 units. So the company want to sell the inventory 50 units. So we have to use 5-4 method. The oldest good purchase are the first to be sold. So we look at the three items here. The first, this is 10, the oldest one, 10. We just carry down 10 times 10, got 100. And you have the balance 40. 
because you want to sell the inventory is uh, the amount is 50. So you have the balance 40. We have to take the oldest price. This one, we take all the amount already and then you have to take the second unit. From 80, this is 80 unit, but we just need 40. So from 80, we just sold, we just sell only 40. And we have the balance 40. So you just carry down 40. And the, the, the next item or the next unit, we just carry down to the next period. So we have two batch of inventory in the store. This is the oldest one and this is the recent price. So after that, after sale that, we have to close the account at 31st, 30th of July. Mm, actually the 31st, alright? So we have to calculate the cost of goods sold is the item. The sum for cost of goods sold, 900 plus 100 plus 440. Then you will get the total cost of goods sold, 1440. The ending inventory is the latest price or the recent price. Because the oldest price we have sold, they will have sold based on the question given. So the ending inventory, we just take all this amount, 40 times 100, 70 times 12, and you add all the together, you will get 1,280. Now, the answer for the question is the cost of ending inventory is given. We have calculated in the table, 1,000. 280 and cost of goods sold is 1440. Now we have to calculate gross profit. The formula is sales. Okay, the formula is sales. Okay, wait. Sale less cost of goods sold. Now we have to calculate sale. Sale given in the question 90 units time 20 20 represent for selling price rm20 then you get rm1800 the second unit of sales is 50 unit times 20 you got 1000 so the total sales is rm2800 so the formula is sales less cost of goods sold 2,800 that we have calculated just now, less 1,440. Then you will get the answer for gross, gross profit is 1,360. That's all. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. And don't forget to watch my next video. Thank you.